Fast forward to four and a half years ago when Kara and Shane met at Cunard's in East Boston. A group of us were having a drink at Cunard's when Kara noticed Shane. Despite demanding to see his proof of identification, you could tell that they immediately had a connection. With tears in her eyes bright and early the next morning, which instantly freaked me out, <laughs> she said, I have to tell you something. I met the man I am going to marry last night. <laughs> A few days later, they went on to have their first date at Cunard's and hundreds of dates thereafter. These two have given Cunard so much business that they deserve a drink named after them. <laughs> yeah. Around four years ago, Shane met Kara. They felt an instant connection the first day they met. Amazingly, they spent all the last two years attached to the hip, both working from home in a 500 square foot apartment. In addition to being a lifelong Cunards patron, Shane is incredibly personable, loyal, and funny. He is thoughtful, supportive, and would do anything for Kara. I can see it in the way he looks at her, the way he cares for her and her family, the way he understands her, and the way he can put her in her place. I can honestly say I've never seen her happier. All jokes aside, Kara's been nothing but kind to our family, and she's a great fit. When the five of us go out to eat, it always makes for a fun time. I've always felt like I was born to the best family I could have asked for, and Kara, you were smart enough to marry into it. As Shane and Kara stand before us today, they will express their love for one another. They will make their vows, myself and the best man and the maids of honor, are the official witnesses. And all of you serve as witnesses to those vows because they are making that commitment before God and the community of believers. It's a true expression that they understand that, that love is a gift from God. And all of us are here as a witnesses to that gift that you have received. And so we celebrate with you and for you by our presence. We offer you our prayers and our love. I, Shane, take you, Kara. I, Shane, take you, Kara. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Kara, take you shame. I, Kara, take you shame. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. My head out the window, I'll fly wherever the wind blows. Moon walking over the rainbow. That's just where I'll be. Too fake, yeah, I taste the sweet life. From the moment we met Shane, we felt that our daughter had met the right guy. That's very important for a father. He, he has proven himself to be a wonderful partner. And Shane, you've accepted all of us deranged weirdos as your own, <laughs> and that means so much. I don't think I could have handpicked or even dreamt of someone more perfect for Kara. And luckily, you're not allergic to pizza, otherwise that would have been a deal breaker. <laughs>
So I'll wrap up by saying from the corners of East Boston to the cottages of Maine. Yeah, I've been a few times paying my respect to the hard nights, paying no attention. <laughs> and everywhere life may bring you in between, through the good days and the bad, I know the love you have for one another can overcome anything. I love you both so much, and I'm so excited to watch the next chapter of your lives unfold as husband and wife. So if you could all please raise your glass. Join me in toasting the Karen chain. Love you. You know me. I'm all about my business. No apologies. I run a lot of fitness. Can't believe in this moment. I'm free. I'm free. To say, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the proudest father on this planet because of my daughter. Being Tara's dad is the best job I've ever had. Uh, we are so proud of the lovely young woman she has become. By now, uh, you probably realize how important it was me that, uh, for me that Tara meet a, pat a partner who would be worthy of her. And she did. Be my honor and my privilege to be able to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Shane and Kara LeBoy.